Hello, Game Mercy Solutions. Today we're going to unbox this Pioneer BDR212 EBK drive. And we're also going to find out if it's worthwhile paying the premium over the DBK drive. We use hundreds of these drives, both in our standalone forensic copiers and also in our robotic jukebox systems. Let's take a look what's inside the box and then see if there is also an alternative drive that's better suited to your needs. Okay, so we can see we've got the box here. And we'll just take a quick look here on the front. Also, take a look on the back of the box. So you can see basically we've got the basic information and the various drives and media type that are actually supported by the drive. And as you can see, this drive supports everything from CD, RW, CDR, CD-ROM, M-Disc, DVD-RAM, both plus and minus R discs. Again, all M discs and all of the Blu ray standards, including the 128 gigabyte Blu ray discs. Let's unbox it. So, as you can see inside the box, we have the drive and some instructions. So we basically get the generic instructions and a couple of foam packaging corners. And the drive is in a plastic bag. Once removed, you can then see the drive can be secured into the computer by the two uh, M3 uh, retaining screws. And on the back of the drive, you've got SATA power and data connectors. And again, looking at the front of the drive, you can see we've got the BDXL logo, LED and an eject button and an emergency eject hole. Okay, so the main difference between the EBK and the DBK is the EBK is the only drive that will support all of these media types, which is the 100 gigabyte and 128 gigabyte Blu-ray and M-Discs. So having looked at the drive, the main reason to buy the EBK is the support for the additional media. An alternative drive to the BDR212 EBK is the BDR-X12 EBK, which is this drive here, which is actually a Pioneer's external USB free drive. I'll leave a link here to the video where we unbox this drive and actually burn a 128 gigabyte disc. Thank you.